Can you keep a secret? We have a hidden gem of a restaurant that's, hold on. We have a hidden gem of a restaurant that's <laughs> off the beaten track with a speakeasy vibe and great food. That's right, our Michelle Oliver is taking us all the way to Howell to dine in the D at Two Bogs Pub. Where can you find all this delicious food? Well, you actually have to go down this alleyway in Howell, down these steps, and into the basement. Welcome to Two Fogs Pub. The rumor is uh, that it stands for two funny old guys, fuzzy old guys, fat old guys, funny old guys. Uh, it's none of those. We actually can't tell you what it is. So uh, we'll invite you to Two Fogs Pub to uh, find out what the true meaning is. And while you're there, you can take in their cool speakeasy atmosphere, complete with hidden booze. It just suits the brick and the field stone that this is all made of, you know, the exposed woodwork, uh, chandeliers like behind me in the 1930s chandeliers. So how did they end up with a restaurant in the basement to begin with? Well, my wife and I were purchasing up some buildings to actually do a co-working facility called Frontal Lobe. And uh, as we were renovating the building, people wanted to know what was going on. So we would come in here at night, sneaking some beer and wine and stuff, and we'd take tours of the buildings. And we'd come down here and people would always say, oh, you ought to put a bar down here. And we always laughed at them and made jokes. And eventually that's what we did. In terms of food, they have elevated bar food. Sure, you can get your classic sliders, but you can also get these char-grilled lamb lollies. So we're making uh, lamb lollies. So it's the rack of the lamb that we have cut down into small pieces, kind of like a lollipop. It's uh, marinated in herbs de Provence, garlic, and a little olive oil. For those that don't know, what is herbs de Provence? Um, the easiest way to explain it is a set of mixed herbs. We let them cook and move on to the green beans. For us, we want to make sure that they're al dente, a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it, doesn't take much. We check back in on the lamb chops. We'll mark it, we'll get it three quarters of the way there, like to whatever your desired temperature is, and then we'll flip them up on the back so that we render off that fat, because if you're anything like me, I like eating that fat. It's nice yeah. if it's nice and crispy. As they're finishing, we set up the plate. This is a carrot puree that nice. comes on the plate. Are we gonna do that little swoosh We're thing? gonna do the swoosh thing. We're gonna thing. do a swoosh, it's, awesome, okay. It's hard for some I people. Say, I've tried doing it at home like to make so, my thing fancy and it's not like great looking. It just looks like I stuck a spoon in some Yeah, sauce. you use the back of the spoon and just pull towards you. Mine did not turn out as graceful. Is that about the right amount? Yeah. Do I need more? I think I need no. more. No, okay. So we're gonna just do that. Yeah, you would, had the had the dowel been much. a little bit smaller, it would have it would have came out perfect. I should have listened to him. We also pile on some mashed potatoes, a spoonful of their rich port wine sauce, and a stack of their green beans. Now for the lamb chop. I'll go through and find the nice marked sides. You know, you get your pick out of all four sides, and then uh, the only thing I feel like we're missing is a little bit of red to give it that pop. Enjoy. Joining us in studio is Christopher Landos, the executive chef of Two Fogs Pub. Thank you for being here. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Jason almost passed out, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> the hunger in my stomach is rendering me almost incoherent. Uh, what have you brought to show us today? All right, so um, let's start on our appetizer side. Um, we uh, do a charcuterie board here with uh, the freshest uh, cured meats and cheeses. We constantly rotate this, um, you know, to keep it lively and fresh. We also do in that same uh, breath, we do uh, deviled eggs. We have our house egg, which is a sage, crispy sage and uh, sausage egg. And this week our uh, featured egg is a bacon egg, which is amazing. When were these made? These were made this morning at around, I don't know, 4 a.m. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so we uh, have an artichoke jalapeno dip Ooh. with uh, some pickled jalapenos and cranberry flatbread. Very nice. And then uh, our first entree is a char-grilled uh, ahi tuna with a ginger beurre blanc, some steamed brown rice, and a broccolini. Nice, nice and rare, just like I like it. Yeah. And this is what you made. And this is what we Michelle. made on, on with Michelle, so a char-grilled lamb lollipops with uh, green beans, rice, and some uh, carrot puree and port demi. 
<laughs> I'm just laughing. I'm sorry. I'm giggling because Jason already has his napkin out. He's getting ready to go. <laughs> What's this here? You might like this even better. What's All right. This? So, so this is this is one of my personal favorites. Um, you know, we have uh, pan-seared pork belly with uh, seared scallops, green beans, uh, um, apple gastrique. Ooh la la. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm a big fan. That looks beautiful. And fan. then what do we have here? A char grilled lamb burger. What? Yeah. A little Jason curry oily. Oh, I dig me some lamb. With some yeah. sweet potato fries that also, you know, we have regular fries as well. You can interchangeable. That's beautiful. That's nice different. That's a nice touch of the curry lamb burger. Yeah. It's different. Absolutely. All right. And let's bring in uh, Joe. Joe Parker. Yes. Come on in here. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Yes. My pleasure. I'll that. Come on <laughs> in. How are you? Can you get real close? Of course you real can. Come on in. We're all Thank friends you. and family. So. Tell us about your mascot. Oh, El, El Porcellino. He's, uh, he's actually in Florence, Italy. Okay. So everything in uh, Fogs is tied to uh, family, family vacation. So uh, you rub his snout for safe return, either home or back to Fogs. We named him Tuskers, uh, which is our favorite beer in Africa. <laughs> so it, it's all tied in, just like the, the punk rock and everything. We, we're, a little bit eclectic, but we, we just tie it all together. A little New York, a little L.A., a little Chicago, uh, buried in a little basement of Howell. I love it. I love so. it. So and where are you located? Uh, downtown Howell, off an alley. You have to go in the back. We're in the basement of three historic buildings, 1873 to 1875. Wow. So somewhat challenging to find, but well worth the challenge. It's pretty cool. I love it. And I feel like you go there and just have a really good time for some reason. I don't know. It's just the energy that you guys give off. But if you want to Keep try talking. out two Fobs Pub, we're giving away 10 $25 gift cards for your chance to win. Go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. I Thumbs even up. want one. I, know, I, I right? want one. I want <laughs> exactly. One. All right. We also started a Diet in the D group on Facebook. He wants one too. He wants one. Everyone wants one. Please join it to see all the places we cover and get suggestions on places to eat, eat out. And of course, share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food, we'd love to have you join. And if you have an idea for where Michelle should go to next for Diet in the D, message her on Facebook at Michelle Oliver Live in the D.